All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna try uh, something I've been wanting to try that I finally uh, spent the money on, but is this uh, lock and lube grease coupler. Now, uh, a standard grease coupler is just, you you just uh, push it on there, it fits, but anybody who's used this know they get caught a lot. So I saw this on a couple other YouTube pages and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give this a shot. It looks pretty straightforward. It's got the spring release. So let's go ahead and put it on here and then uh, we'll go lube up the tractor. We got some uh, driveway work to do. So we're gonna we're move in about three yards of stone. So I wanna make sure the uh, front pivot, all the grease, uh, grease fittings in the front are all secured, or all grease, excuse me. So let's go ahead and put this on and then uh, we'll go uh, try it out. All right, so we're gonna grease the front end loader before we do some rock work here. So let's go ahead and try out the uh, lock and lube on this first grease fitting. Wow. <laughs> that works literally as, as easy as it looks. <laughs> So thanks for watching guys um that lock and lube grease coupler is uh, awesome um the whole i never really used a grease gun a whole ton before uh the homestead here but now that i got the tractor with all the moving parts and the bucket and the loader and all the three-point attachments and stuff um just having that quick connect is so much easier the, the regular pr pressure fittings i'm not a fan of it so for the i think it's under 40 dollars i paid for it it is absolutely worth the money 100 percent um I think it works great. It's quick, it's easy. Uh, you don't make a mess. Grease goes in the grease fitting where it's supposed to go and not all out the sides and make a mess of your machine. So I'm Homestead Jay. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you like this video. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. We're gonna be going through this Kubota. We're gonna be doing an oil change, air filter, fuel filter. We're gonna do a fuel water separator. We're gonna put, uh, we had to put some tubes in the rear tires, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna go through this Kubota and work on it. So those will be coming up in future videos. But I'm Jay. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.